So I think when you first look at it, it should look attractive. It should want to draw you in. The piece draws you in. The story is phenomenal. It draws you in. Emotionally, what's happening to these people is uh, raw and crude and hard and you ought to see some of that in here as well. The colour of this is a bit like wood or a skull that's been in the sea for a long time and washed up. So dead bones, colour that's been drained out of trees, twigs, stones. So everything's got this kind of half dead ash feeling over it. I come here and catch up, well, about once a week at the moment and see how things are going. I made this model and it took months. I've been working on it for maybe two years by the time we finish. So it's very exciting to come and see it grown up. It's still quite awe-inspiring to actually see just how high it is and just how fine it is. At the back of the two um, houses, there's a back cloth. <laughs> It is huge. <laughs> I think it's about 50 meters by 13 or something. It's massive. Jamen, vi ser jo baggrunden til Pocky and Bess. Det er det største bagtæp, vi har håndteret. Den er så stor, så i det øjeblik, vi lægger den sammen, så skal vi helst lægge den op på en vogn med hjul med det samme. For vi kan ikke løfte den. <laughs> den, er, den er for levende for os, så vi er nødt til at lægge den sammen, og så klappe den over hinanden. Så den ligger i et system, som, som Karsten over på Operan er klar over, når han skal have den pakket ud. They're doing a, a brilliant job. It's, it's still a little bit like holding your breath, because they're not actually all together yet. Around the workshop, you can look at individual pieces. Um, so it's fantastic seeing the parts. It'll be yet another brilliant part when they all come together on stage. <laughs>